होम सिनेमा एक्सपीरियंसेस आर इनकम्प्लीट विदाउट अ ग्रेट मीडिया कॉन्टेंट राइट नाउ ट्रेडिशनली वी ऑल हैव बीन यूजिंग द सैटेलाइट कनेक्शन और सेट टॉप बॉक्सेस विच वन टू द पार टू गिव यू द बेस्ट आउटपुट नाउ देर आर स्टिल फ्यू टेकर्स फॉर इट हु आर मोस्टली समन हु वॉन्ट टू हैव अ लाइव स्पोर्ट्स इवेंट विदाउट लैग बट फॉर ऑल अदर्स वेन इट कम्स टू विविंग कॉन्टेंट द ओ टी टी एप्स हैव बिकम द गो टू डिवाइसेस और गो टू प्रोडक्ट्स टू स्ट्रीम लाइव कॉन्टेंट एंड सम ऑफ द बेस्ट स्ट्रीमिंग प्लेयर्स ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री आर राइट इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आय तन्मय मेहता अलॉन्ग विद विक्रम पवार फ्रॉम माई टीम विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दीज फाइव मीडिया प्लेयर्स ऑन वेरियस पैरामीटर्स एंड वी वुड बी शेयरिंग दैट विच वन स्टैंड बेस्ट फॉर विच एप्लीकेशन so make sure to watch the video till the end and also let us know your feedback on these products in the comments below so the first parameter that we are going to evaluate is the setup type because every time you bring in a new media player the first thing that you would do is unbox the product and connect it to your home theater or your tv system so ye paancho mein se vikram out of your experience Which one do you think has the fastest setup time? कौन सा सबसे ज्यादा मुझे लगता है Apple TV सबसे फास्ट डिवाइसेस है ओके तो इनिशियल सेटअप के लिए काफी अच्छा है ओके ये Apple TV मुझे लगता है काफी फास्ट है सो Apple TV आई थिंक ये मोस्टली Apple यूजर्स वालों के लिए फास्ट रहेगा क्योंकि आपको Apple ID क्रिएट करने की जरूरत नहीं है बट अगर कोई फर्स्ट टाइम प्रोडक्ट ले रहा है जो Apple यूजर बिल्कुल नहीं है तो मोर देन Apple TV आउट ऑफ माय एक्सपीरियंस Amazon Fire TV Stick हैज बीन वन ऑफ द फास्टेस्ट बिकॉज़ आपको सिर्फ प्लग इन करना है वो डोंगल और इमीडिएटली वाईफाई में जाके आपको वाईफाई से कनेक्ट करवाना है तो दैट इज वेरी इजी विद फ्यू क्लिक्स सो दैट्स व्हाई आई थिंक फॉर मी दिस वुड बी अ फायर डिविस्टिक एज द विनर सो द सेकंड पैरामीटर इज ऑब्वियसली द यूजर इंटरफेस एंड द यूजर एक्सपीरियंस सो आई थिंक लेट मी आस्क विक्रम अगेन फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम दैट व्हिच वन डू यू थिंक हैज द बेस्ट ओएस व्हेन इट कम्स टू यूजर इंटरफेस एंड यूजर एक्सपीरियंस मुझे लगता है वापस एप्पल टीवी इसमें विनर होगा क्योंकि Less cluttered. Ah, huh. okay. So, so that's Vikram's choice. My choice out here would be Nvidia Shield TV Pro, because Nvidia Shield TV Pro has got a fantastic Android OS, which I am really fan of, because you get all the apps, the best content in one screen. So my vote, I think, would go for Nvidia. Yeah. But one product that is definitely has got the most boring OS or the user interface is the Roku. Roku. Yes, right. that we both agree upon. So yeah, yeah, that's our opinion. Do let us know your views as well. Now the next thing that we are going to evaluate is the app content or the app library. So Apple TV has got Apple OS, Apple TV OS, Amazon has got Fire OS, Roku has got Roku OS and Nvidia has got the Android OS. So in this which one do you think has the best app content or the app library? Mujhe lagta hai Nvidia Shield kafi acha hai iske liye. To aap Android agar users ho to aap third party applications mein dal sakte ho. Kafi application isme aa jate hai. Uh, आपको इसमें से वीडियो क्वालिटी के लिए कौन सा डिवाइस स्ट्रीमिंग डिवाइस अच्छा लगा आई थिंक वीडियो क्वालिटी के लिए अगर बात करें तो एनवीडिया शील्ड टीवी प्रो हैज टू गेट द फर्स्ट रैंक बिकॉज एनवीडिया शील्ड टीवी प्रो बीइंग अ आई मीन एनवीडिया बीइंग अ ग्राफिक्स कार्ड कंपनी दे नो हाउ टू गेट द बेस्ट कलर आउटपुट और द बेस्ट मोशन फ्लो एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट आई थिंक यू हैव गॉट फैंटास्टिक कलर लेवल्स व्हेन वी चेक अ मूवी ऑन ऑल दिस फाइव प्रोडक्ट्स द स्किन टोन वाज मच मोर नेचुरल इन Nvidia Shield TV Pro so my vote would go for Nvidia Shield TV Pro in this case what about you mujhe to lagta hai Apple TV is the best okay for video quality and all so what are the things that you liked in Apple TV that makes you feel that okay this is the best jo darkness hai wo kafi isme aapko acha mil jata hai okay and talking about uh, the compatibility part i think all these five devices have got dolby vision dolby atmos yes. so that is not an issue it's just that with Nvidia Shield TV Pro you get ai upscaling yes. which apple tv does not have does not but have. apple tv with its own processor is definitely another option which has got a fantastic video quality so this was about video when it comes to audio what do you think vikram which one is the best of these five to mujhe to lagta hai ye sare devices dolby atmos supported hai yes 
तो भी फ्राइंग क्योंकि ये अमेजोन के प्रोडक्ट्स है ये काफी अच्छे है एवी सिंह के लिए ओके तो ये दो चीजें आप हमें डॉल्बी एटमोस काफी अच्छे दे सकते हैं स्टीमिंग डिवाइसेस के लिए तो मैं अमेजोन का सिलेक्ट करूंगा डिवाइसेस ओके सो विक्रम सो इस इज अमेजोन फॉर इट्स अमेजिंग एवी सिंक्रोनाइजेशन विच इवन आई एग्री क्योंकि ऑडियो डीले अगर आपको सेट करना है तो yes. बहुत बार होता है क्योंकि आपका वीडियो और ऑडियो मैच नहीं होता है तो अमेजोन नो डाउट हैज गॉट अ फैंटास्टिक ऑडियो डीले फीचर विच रोको फॉर इंस्टेंस डिड नॉट हैव एप्पल टीवी डज नॉट हैव एनवीडिया हैज बट टू सम एक्सटेंट इट्स ओके but when it comes to performance of audio i think the dolby atmos i would still go with this cuz amazon products being amazon company they are not opening up atmos for all the titles like jaise netflix mein bhi hum logo ne kafi baar dekha hua hai ki unhone select titles pe hi atmos diya hua hai yeah right so for that reason i think in out of this five for me it would be apple tv so the next thing that we are going to talk about after audio video is gaming because gaming as a culture i think everyone is picking up a lot on the yes. gaming culture so vikram what's your pick out of this five main nvidia shield pro uh, select karunga kyunki isme premium android games aap le sakte ho so nvidia so definitely being an android yeah. player you can get a great vast library of gaming in this nvidia shield tv pro but the most important factor for me to select nvidia in this case is the graphics card i mean एनवीडिया के ग्राफिक कार्ड की ही ये प्रोडक्ट है तो आई एम श्योर एनी ऑफ दिस मीडिया प्लेस विल नॉट बी इवन क्लोजर व्हेन इट कम्स टू गेमिंग एक्सपीरियंस एप्पल टीवी आई वुड से विद इट्स एप्पल आर्केड आई हैव नॉट पर्सनली टेस्टेड इट बट या आई थिंक एनवीडिया वुड डेफिनेटली बी द विनर इन दिस केस सो मोस्ट ऑफन इन अ स्ट्रीमिंग प्लेयर व्हाट वी एक्सपेक्ट टू डू इज जस्ट कनेक्टेड टू द इंटरनेट एंड स्ट्रीम कंटेंट ऑनलाइन बट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट देयर आर सम मीडिया प्लेयर्स इन अमंगस्ट दिस फाइव ओनली व्हिच हैव गॉट सम एक्स्ट्रा पोर्ट्स एंड I have already got my winner for it. Which one do you think Vikram is the best one for better connectivity options? Again, मुझे लगता है कि Nvidia Shield Pro को दो USB connectivity है. Okay. और वो भी 3.0 में है. Right. और दूसरी चीज़ है फिर Roku है जिसको एक USB एक connectivity USB port है. Yes. So having a USB port is good so that in case somebody wants to connect a hard drive, hard drive right. or a pen drive pen just drive. to watch something, Offline if someone has got it. So I think a USB port is yes. really making a big difference nowadays when we have to multiply in terms of the content but also another factors that i have to see in this is the wifi connectivity or the lan connectivity option yes. now with regards to fire tv stick aap sirf aur Ali sirf spoke. wifi se wifi connect, connect kar sakte ho right. but baki ke sare products aap directly lan cable ke sath lan connect kar sakte ho right. isko bhi aap lan laga sakte ho yes yes cube mein directly aap lan connect kar sakte ho aur cube ko bhi aap lan connect kar sakte ho aur jo ye naya aaya hai अमेजोन फायर टीवी क्यूब उसमें यूएसबी भी है यूएसबी भी है ओके एंड डज दैट यूएसबी सपोर्ट नेट यू नो हार्ड ड्राइव और पेन ड्राइव नहीं वो हार्ड ड्राइव सपोर्ट नहीं कर रहा खाली जो फ्लैश फाइल देते हैं फ्लैश ड्राइव बेसिकली स्मॉल पेन ड्राइव साइज इट कैन सपोर्ट बट व्हेन इट कम्स टू बिगर हार्ड ड्राइव लाइक 4GB वगैरह वो आई थिंक एनवीडिया एनवीडिया वुड डेफिनेटली बी द विनर फॉर दैट्स सो द नेक्स्ट फीचर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इज द वॉइस असिस्टेंट डिवाइस बिकॉज With these products, you can control them over a voice assistant as well. जैसे आप अगर मुझे इसमें से चुनना है तो I think I would go for Apple TV because the Apple Siri. TV Siri yes. is extremely fast, very sensitive to understand your language and she can do the job pretty nicely. Yes. Uh, what's your opinion? मुझे लगता है Nvidia Shield Pro same. So the Google Assistant Google works assistant. very fine. Uh, now all the remotes have got the mic option. but one of the product that failed in terms of delivering of the right output was roku Look. we tried pressing the mic button to say some command but the command didn't really happen and it went on to a hang mode so that is where i think that this product definitely needs a little more work uh, also talking about voice assistant devices most of these products are compatible with couple of platforms like for instance nvidia is compatible with google as well as alexa, alexa. yes but amazon has got their own alexa devices so Same. that's why they would work only and only on alexa. alexa the next parameter which is not going to really matter much but yes it is very important for certain aspects is about advanced settings because in some products you can actually match the frame rate upon the based upon the input content similarly you can also adjust the audio output so i think in this i would go with apple tv as the winner because apple tv has got various options for your video as well as for your audio settings in detail what do you think vikram aapko kaun sa lagta hai megan nvidia shield pro aur cube select karunga 
ओके okay. दोनों को भी ये काफी सेटिंग है जो भी आप कर सकते हो एडिट सेटिंग में जाके चेंज कर सकते हो चीजें ओके यस सो विक्रम्स इज अमेजॉन एंड एंड मीडिया फॉर मी इट्स एप्पल टीवी दीस फोर प्रोडक्ट्स हैव गॉट रियली नाइस सेटिंग्स अकॉर्डिंग टू अस सो व्हेन इट कम्स टू रिमोट कंट्रोल आई थिंक द विनर आउट हियर इन टर्म्स ऑफ द प्रीमियम फील इज डेफिनेटली गोइंग टू बी द एप्पल टीवी रिमोट बट इन टर्म्स ऑफ द मोस्ट अमेजिंग रिमोट इफ आई हैव टू सिलेक्ट only because of its look and most of its features then i think i would go with the nvidia, nvidia shield pro. tv pro yes. because it has got a backlit remote which is very very nice and very important especially when you are using it in the dark room and another benefit of this is that the remote is you know in a very weird shape which is the triangular shape uh, you can actually keep it straight also and it has got all of these remotes rather have got uh, lost remote finder kind of thing yes where you press a button you turn it on and you can see where the remote is uh coming to the remote of roku ultra hd player this remote has got the volume buttons on the side and the main arrow keys are in the front the arrow keys are a little rough yes. they are very rigid but yeah i mean this is good the only benefit of this remote is that it has got a headphone jack headphone jack yeah. where you can listen to audio if you don't want to disturb it's your neighbors at night then just connect the headphones that come along with the box yes yeah and that's how you can use the roku ultra hd for so the next thing that we are going to discuss now is about the drawbacks of these five products now i'll ask vikram to first start with roku media player aapko kya lagta hai ki isme kaun si aise cheeze jo missing hai ya jo nahi chahiye the but fir bhi hai to roku media player mein ek pehli cheez to headphone jack diya jo ki useful nahi hai zyada Yes. तो ये मेरे को चीज लगती है कि वो मतलब ग्रेट प्रोडक्ट was the app library the entire uh, product at its price point may not be a very lucrative offer moving on to the next product which is amazon shoot jisko hum khali flash drive support kar sakte hain hard drive support karta nahi hai chiz ye okay to shoot thoda sa usme kam hota hai that's the drawback for yes, the okay. same apple tv mein wohi hai okay so just to make us to so for apple tv will definitely come later but coming talking about the amazon fire tv cube I think, as you rightly mentioned, USB, which is not supporting hard drives, is not going to be a lucrative offer. Second thing in Fire TV Stick, which I would like to highlight, is that because it's a Fire OS and a monopoly of Amazon, they definitely need to start opening up their doors for uh, Netflix content, which is much more in Atmos titles. Yeah. So, not get Atmos only for Prime. Start bringing Atmos for every channel, and that I feel is the drawback in Amazon. Yes. This as well as in this. Yeah. That's- So as Vikram rightly mentioned for Apple TV just like Amazon there's no USB so that is definitely one of the drawbacks the second drawback is that this is a very very close knit family of Apple, Apple only who would rather go for this product uh, not the entire world and especially not android users according to me though we have got some cases where in the android users have bought this but if there is a budget which expects you to go for a better product then more than Apple TV and Nvidia Shield TV Pro for android users Would definitely be the game changer. Yes. Okay. So moving on to our final product drawback, which is the Nvidia Shield TV Pro. Uh, what do you think, Vikram? Is it what drawbacks are there? So Nvidia Shield Pro has 16 GB storage, which is quite low. So for Android players, 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 But one of the biggest drawbacks for me in in the Nvidia Shield TV Pro, rather two drawbacks for me. One is that it is not sold in India directly, and the second one is the price. Yes. The price point for Nvidia Shield TV Pro is extremely high, and uh, will reach there. I'll start again from Roku for the price though. So Roku in India is retailing around sixteen thousand rupees. Again, not sold directly, but available on Amazon with a long, you know, custom clearance kind of uh, delivery. Then we talk about the Amazon Fire TV Cube, which is priced at uh, around fifteen thousand. Okay, twelve. Yeah. I think twelve. Twelve thousand. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. So, Amazon Fire TV Cube is priced around twelve thousand. I don't know what's the latest price. 
but yeah somewhere around 12000 is the price for amazon tv group which is fair enough cuz you also get a alexa mic which you can just directly talk to you don't need the remote mic yes. for this that's an advantage apple tv in india it's retailing around 16900 not a very bad price point for a media player amazon fire tv stick around. 4k max around 6500 rupees is the yeah. retail price yeah. which is a steel deal i mean anybody who are starting their uh, you know uh, home theater journey or want to have a great content library or want to convert any dumb product into a smart product fire tv cube sorry fire tv stick can be the best product for you at a very very nice price point and lastly when we talk about nvidia shield tv pro it's again not retailing directly in india the price that you still get in india is around 34 35000 But if you buy it from US, it's close to the price of Apple TV, which is around sixteen thousand. So it retails for one ninety nine dollars in US. So let us now finally come to the winners of these products. Now the winners are going to be very difficult to choose because the price range, as you all know, is very very vast. So I'm going to ask Vikram to select the winner on two parameters. One is if price is no bar, which one would you select? Nvidia Shield Pro. Okay. <laughs> And if price is a barrier, which one would you select? Amazon Q. Okay, so these were Vikram's choices. Uh, for me, I think if price is no barrier, Nvidia Shield TV Pro is something that anyone and everyone should go for. But if you are on a price crunch, and if you still want one of the best products, has got Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, and all the possible features, Fire TV Stick 4K Max for me is the winner out here because at 6,500 there is nothing close to this product. And to those of you who want to know the ranking of these five products. We've already done a video on that, for which I'm going to share the link above. So make sure to watch it. Until then, I and Vikram will see you all in the next video. Thank you Thank so much you. for watching. Thank you.